Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, machinists have long been using sulfurized oils as cutting fluids, and according to the internet, oil sulfurizes at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So today, I'm just going to put a little bit of sulfur in some vegetable oil and heat it up to 350 degrees plus and see what happens. Well, we're only at about 170 degrees so far, but something appears to be happening. The sulfur, which was in suspension at first as I was stirring it, uh, has dropped out of suspension and formed little beads on the bottom of the beaker. Now we're at about 240 degrees Fahrenheit. The sulfur has melted and turned brown on the bottom of the beaker. Well, we just hit 350 degrees. The oil is clearly changing color. The sulfur mostly has disappeared. Uh, the little bit that's still visible is little black flecks. Add a little bit more. The addition of more sulfur definitely causes the oil to become darker in color. We're now at 400 degrees. The oil appears to be boiling a little bit, or at least bubbling a little bit, so I'm turning down the heat. I think whatever reaction was going to occur has probably occurred by now, so we'll just stir this up once more and then let it cool. Okay, well, we've let that cool to almost room temperature. Uh, it's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit now. As we noted earlier, the color has changed dramatically from a very light oil to a very dark one. And in a pipette, we can see that it's actually taken on a very red, almost purplish tint, uh, very reminiscent of transmission fluid, although quite a bit darker. Intuitively, it doesn't feel too much different than it did before, maybe a little bit more viscous or a little bit slipperier, but not a huge change in its viscosity. So anyway, I plan to do some other tests with this oil later, but for now, thanks for watching the Idahoan Show.